have people made a bit too much out of creators kind of being rude or mean online? This is this everybody's going to have their own personal gauge, but but hear me out. This is kind of how I've started to think about the issue. Hey there, this is Perch. Um, I, I've been digging more, not digging, but I, I mean, so <laughs> how do I want to begin this? Um, I've been learning more about online movements because for a long time, I just, it, it's not that I ignored them. It's like my brain had this much capacity and I was stuffing it with stuff all the time. And eventually I, I'm like, I, I don't have any, any room for more. So a lot of the online drama kind of escaped my general attention because it just, it's like, I don't have room to understand why, you know, uh, an Ethan Van Skyver is feuding with a Rumble Terrier and who started it and what the background is. And I don't even want to know because it, I don't have any benefit uh, in that feud. Like I, I could pick a side of that feud, but I don't even know what the sides are. And what would, if I picked a side, who would that help? Would that help the the one side or the other? It wouldn't help anybody. So what what's the point uh, of that? What can I bring to that argument? The answer is nothing. I can't. I'm a tiny guy here. I can't bring anything to that argument. So I'll, I'll keep fighting the arguments I can bring something to. Um, anyway, so I, I've been digging in, though, into kind of the roots of, of what what was, you know, quote unquote, comics gate or the fans rebellion or, or so on. And a couple themes come up that I often find myself agreeing to, but then other parts are, are weirder to agree to. So I, I don't want to go into all that, you know, what is the tag and what is that movement and everything else, but, but one specific aspect of it that I agree with, but I also think has been overblown a bit, and that's creator behavior. And it's the creators acting rudely, offensively, um, you know, unprofessionally, online, on social media, and the, you know, the fans just not taking it anymore. They're demanding kind of a better level of service. And I did a show a while back. We talked about the, the hot dog vendor analogy, which I dislike um, for reasons I said on that show of like the creator or the comics producer is like a hot dog vendor and a customer is coming up to them wanting a hot dog. The creator should be gracious and say, you know, yes, sir, here's your hot dog. Or in this case, yes, sir, here's your comic book. And I, I agree with polite, I mean, God, if, you, if you've been listening to the channel at any length, you clearly know, because a lot of people hammer me for it. Uh, ironically, the same people hammer me for it who are saying that the uh, creators act unprofessionally, that um, I am too nice, too polite. I'm the, I'm, you know, the good guy, the, the milk toast, I think is the, the uh, thing I've gotten um, in the past. And um, it, it it's it's a tricky it's a tricky line because on one hand i believe fully that creators need to have the ability need to have the venting need to you know in their personal lives or personal lives if they want to blow off steam if they have a bad day if they're upset about something then you know uh, who why who, whose right is it to get in there and say nope you have to be polite professional 100 percent of the time you are your name's on a comic book so you can't ever lose your temper i don't think that's fair I, as a line, I just don't think that's a, a fair thing to ask of a creator. Um, I do, I, I'm just noticing as I'm talking, a little bit of a Canadian a accent is working its way into my speech pattern. That's that's not going to help with, <laughs> with all the other things I have going on. That is not going to help anything. Anyway, um, I think that there's different lines. So I, I think it's very easy. You know, you can pull it out, point out some examples. I think, uh, you know, the Rodriguez who sent a picture of his butt to another creator and, and a bunch of people saw it online. That's, that's clearly unprofessional. I, I think you can look at that and say that's beyond any kind of uh, blowing off steam that is being a, a real jerk and, and completely unprofessional. And, and if, if, say, that was done to um, Sana Aminat, for example, if somebody sent her a picture of their butt, that person would be forever never working in Marvel again, just ever. And, and there, there'd be a lot of uh, articles being written and, you know, toxic behavior and everything else. 
And it doesn't really matter, you know, you, some people have said and claimed, well, that, the, you know, the picture of the butt was sent to somebody who was acting in an unprofessional way himself, um, who I believe, I believe this was Ethan Van Skyver. I'm not sure. I think it was Ethan Van Skyver got the butt picture. And um, yes, that may be true. Does, does Ethan have um, unprofessional behavior and things he does? I, I, I mean, sure. He, he, you know, some of the stuff that he says and does is, is it falls into that category as well. But I guess maybe I was raised with the two wrongs don't make a right. The response to unprofessional behavior is not to send more unprofessional behavior. If, if you know, one guy is saying uh, F off to someone uh, or, you know, you have to effing fix this or whatever it happens to be, a picture of a butt is not a, you know, not a good response. But it may be, it may be funny to you. That's, that's kind of a different issue. Things that are unprofessional sometimes are very funny, but it's not good, just professional courtesy, I, I would say. Um, then you get into like kind of the kind of meltdown, like what Chuck Wendig did, uh, where he went off on, you know, a bunch of Trump people are all, you know, eat, you know, eat this and, and just kind of really, a, a, you know, offensive rant. And um, that that's, again, I think that's an example of, you know, overlying unprofessional craziness that you know, you can have a bad day. You can vent steam. You'd be pissed. Like, I'll give you an example, and people disagree with this. This is where all the downvotes come. I think that, you know, you look at Donny Cates, and I watch uh, people come at him with wanting to have uh, Eddie and Venom in kind of a gay relationship. Or I mean, the, the symbiote is not human, so I don't I don't really see how that's a gay relationship. Anyway, whatever. The shippers, or symbiote and Eddie, and I watch them come at Donny Cates, and I eventually see Donny Cates kind of, I want to say lose his temper, just kind of get exhausted with the whole conversation, and just like, I, I can't take any more the end. Um, and, and he'll blow up at people. And I, I look at that, and I don't think that's unprofessional behavior. I just, I don't personally, I look at that and go, here's somebody who was pushed and is blowing off steam and is irritated. And I just, in my scale, in my mind, I view sending a picture of your butt telling a massive group of people to go F off and versus uh, I've had enough. This is stupid out of Donny Cates. I, I, th those are not in the same ballpark to me. Now this is where it gets into everyone has their own line. And I respect that. I mean, at the end of the day, this whole video could be summed up with, you know, if you feel attacked, if you feel like you're spending money on something and you don't like where your money is being spent or the people who you're spending it on are treating you in a way that isn't professional, or, you know, just uh, forget professional. You just don't like. Don't spend your money there. It's your money. You can stop and you should stop. I, I, I say always 100% of the time, you know, with underlined and, and in bold, don't spend your money where you're not comfortable. If you're not comfortable, don't spend your money there. Period. And so this line, I think, is for all of you, everyone, every individual to decide. Uh, for me, that's how I think about it. I think about unprofessional behavior as there's there's a line that gets crossed, and I think that line can't be too simple, because I think if you if you make it too simple, you're eventually going to have nobody. I mean, I would still buy John Byrne's work even after seeing John Byrne, you know, run many a crazy tirade against people uh, in in many different ways. Um, I, I don't know. I just it always <laughs> that's the choice I'm making. Um, but it, it is everybody's choice that they get to make on their own. And it's an interesting line. I mean, I, I watch the origins of a lot of the fan revolt movement, uh, for me that I, I agree with is, you know, prices are too high, that there's a major, uh, discrepancy there in how these things are happening, that, uh, variants and incentive schemes and all these other little gimmicks are actually hurting the industry. It's another thing I agree with wholeheartedly. And that, you know, unprofessional behavior kind of really going off and ranting and being crazy online is not not appropriate has to stop i agree with that part too but it's that last part that is extremely subjective and i watch a lot of people apply it very quickly to all kinds of creators uh, i've watched people apply that to brian edward hill of like nope he was he did not listen to me screaming at him therefore he is unprofessional um, and that's where i dislike the hot dog vendor analogy because i think if you are a customer um, you do have a responsibility as well. If you walk into a store and you just start acting like a complete a-hole, um, you are, you're not being professional. And therefore, I don't think you have any right to be served. Uh, if, if you come in and you just start screaming at the person, you're a Marvel shill, screw you, 
Um, I think the comic store owner, that person has a right to chuck you out. You are being a crazy person. So I don't think it's, it's, it, it can't all be one way. And online, what I often see is that people will bait creators with really offensive things. And then when they respond, go, aha, see, 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 unprofessional creator. It's a game for, for some people, not many people, but some. And I think that that, that is, uh, you know, that, that's where I kind of say it's, it's not as cut and dry. You know, that said, you know, I've watched Gail Simone troll people. I think that's unprofessional and wrong. I think it's bad for the comics. I think it's bad for the marketing. It doesn't help anything. I think that's wrong. I think Al Ewing bragging about people he blocks and being flippant about it is wrong. Uh, I think if anybody's being honest with themselves uh, in the industry, they've known that, uh, you know, Mark Wade's been a, a, you know, twitchy guy for a decade or more. And so, you know, there, there's clearly some craziness there. I'm just saying, you know, um, yeah, I think Dan Slott impersonating other people on message boards so he could argue kind of, with, you know, have like groups of people who are arguing on his defense and it was all him. That's goofy, un, unprofessional behavior. Agreed. All those things are, you know, that's my view of it anyway. But I think, you know, in, in other cases, um, you've got people who, who you know, I, blow off steam and I think they have a right to do that. The, the tougher one is is kind of the crowdfunding people, the, the the Ethan and the podcasts and all the rest. That's a, that's a whole other topic that is not going to be served well in this context. I'm just trying to kind of explain for you. This is my line one way or the other. So hopefully, you know, I'm, I'm curious to hear your thoughts. This is one where I really want to hear your comments. As always, like, subscribe and everything else. But let me know your comments. Where's your line? Because this line is not absolute. It's very personal. So where do you draw the line? And when you draw the line, what does that mean? Do you stop buying the comics? Do you stop engaging with the person? Do you block them? Do you just, are they dead to you? What does that all mean? We'd love to know. Anyway, uh, that's my feeling on the subject. Follow me on Twitter, Comic Birch. Uh, Let me know your thoughts, please, please. And thank you for listening.